What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Elute Stalwart Plays. Today, we're going to be playing World of Warcraft Shadowlands on Kaioken. He's our level 60 monk. Currently, item level, I, I couldn't tell you, probably like 240 something like that. I have PvP gear and PvE gear. Today, I think I'm probably going to be working on the PvE side. I don't know what the weekly is this week, but last week it was Battlegrounds, so I was doing PvP for Battlegrounds last week. It's kind of dark today. Uh, we might get some rain over here in Texas, so it's like a 30% chance it's scattered. I look forward to it and welcome it. It's been a while since we've had rain. The mysterious rune carver within Torghast can imbue powerful items crafted through player professions, transforming them into legendary equipment. Okay. Didn't know that. Now we know. It's, I, I still have the face tracking thing going on, so the camera's going to be moving around trying to follow my face. It'll probably, like, be in weird positions like this where the back's, like, all super... <laughs> Let's go. Let's go do some stuff for the... Okay, what, what's the weekly this week, first of all? Uh... <laughs> Uh, it doesn't show. Oh, Sign of the Warrior. Shadowlands Dungeons. The final boss of each Shadowlands Dungeon is going to drop an extra thing. So does that mean Mythics? I think this week we got Mythics. I got to open my Great Vault too. So let me let me get these callings right quick. I'll, I'll do what I can for the Order Hall here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, check out that other... Um, who's what's it? The, uh, Speak, the weekly quest. Is this, this is downstairs? So we, we gotta get some anima. And whatever this is. Returning lost souls, okay. Oh, you know how you could get the Sinvir Sinstone? There's also, in Bastion, there's a, it, it's like over there with the wisdom stuff, there's a, a Valkyrie one. So the Sinstone Bond is the red guy here, the little rock with the red around him. He's like the devil on your shoulder. And then the Valkyr Bond, is giving me nitpicky advice and insight and some examples of the stuff that they're saying here is uh right here they said <laughs> what are they talking about so Cinny here was whispering what kind of trouble can we get up to and angelus here was whispering it's never too late to start down the path of righteousness and then Re angelus says don't let him tempt you and then city said and because of that, why not put it off until tomorrow? The path of righteousness? He's like, okay, so Angelus was like, it's never too late to start down the path of righteousness. And then Cinny says, and because of that, why don't you put that off until tomorrow? And then Angelus is just repeating themselves. It's never too late to start down the path of right. And Cinny just keeps on saying, and why not put that off until tomorrow? So you can see, you can, there's an idea of the type of conversation that is had from having these two out. They don't like each other, it looks like. They're just starting to argue with each other on one side and the other. That's pretty funny. But yeah, I just found that. I found that yesterday. I was like, oh shit, that's cool, actually. I thought that was neat. We got the red drake here. We got a, um, oh, parkour off of that. You have my attention. Challenges in Arden Wield. Okay, got it. Now, um... We're gonna wait on those. We're gonna go to Oribus. Oribos. Yeah, so the whole time my chat's going off over there with that uh, Sinstone whispering. I'm gonna turn this preview off over here. I've been playing Kaioken and so far he's been since I leveled him he got to 60 and I was doing the weekly objectives and PvP was last week's objective so I got him a PvP set we got uh the gear he has on right now which is basically like the cryptic stuff I converted a couple of the items I picked up into set items via that uh catalyst of creation or something like that in Zerif Mortis so I got the two-piece set bonus for Fists of Fury to have increased damage which is like my bread and butter as a monk. But our PvP set here, we're at about 237 eye level with the PvP gear. 
I could probably even upgrade it some more. I think I do have, yeah, I got 1300 honor. I had to wait till this week to reset the conquest. So I'm going to be getting my conquest up a little bit more this week. It looks like the conquest cap is 2000. At 1800, I'm going to get the weapon. I like to save up and get the most expensive stuff first. So the most expensive thing here from the conquest vendor is the two-handed weapon i'm going with the mace because i kind of went crit strike you had a choice between crit strike or mastery for your build and uh the gear i was picking uh from this vendor here the assessor of conflict has all been the crit strike versatility gear everywhere i could get it but then there are certain pieces like the helm here where it wouldn't let me so i had to get mastery so i went crit strike mastery and i have Apparently I have zero haste, but uh, I can get haste from my talents. But anyways, like uh, I'm going with the crit strike two-hander here. And as far as I've ever known in WoW, the weapon's always been the biggest contributor to damage out of all the pieces of gear you can have on your character. So I try to get that the highest item level first if I can. And then like it used to be too, it was practical because you would only have to enchant your weapon you know, one time if you got the best weapon. Whereas if you were constantly swapping out for side grades and minor upgrades, you'd have to enchant over and over. You could go broke real easy. Just paying your enchanter for all those weapon enchants. So yeah, like, I like, if I can, I prefer getting the best weapon first. Enchanting one time. But yeah, whatever. I mean, it's been so long since I've raided or anything like that. I've actually been part... I've been trying to focus on Kaioken here. He's my guy, and I've only just started messing with them maybe a couple weeks ago. And at this point, he's got, let's see. He's got this played one day, 10 hours at this level, but this character's two days old. Hashtag new main. Okay. So I want to see how far I can push him. I'm going to be doing some PvP. I was doing solo shuffle, arena skirmishes, battlegrounds. I'm going to try to get my conquest cap every week if I can. And I'll at least do that for PvP. We'll see if that's possible. If I can maintain that. I don't know. And then uh, if not, we're going to do mythics as well. We're going to see how far we can get our mythics going. I don't know how to check my IO. That's I, I think. I I don't think I have an IO. Yeah, this is my my score. I have a zero. Uh, last week I did one mythic. It was like a mythic zero, and I had a key. But I think today that expired. So I'm gonna have to get back into mythics today. But yeah, this is it. This is what I wanted to record it. Um, I'm not war mode right now, so I'm gonna switch back to my PVE uh, gear. PvP gear, by the way, it, it scales. So if you have war mode on or you're in battlegrounds, it's not actually 242. It goes up to the green text there. Equipped item level right here. It says 272 on PvP. So it's actually, instead of saying 237 eye level with the PvP gear, you're actually like 270 something. If you have war mode, I don't, so I'm switching to my PvP gear. I'm going to be trying out this uh, two-piece set bonus of increased 40% damage to Fists of Fury. Uh, I'm going to make a big circuit here. I'm going to go around the zone and do all these quests. So let's get these done. First one here is Fruit of the Bloom. It's a blue daily quest from Firam, I believe. Let's, let's see what he wants us to do. I've been trying to get back to a consistent schedule for you guys. It's been rough lately for like the past couple months, really. Uh, there's been a change of ownership at our apartments. And I guess because of like how the laws are set up, the apartment owner previously, since like the 70s, had been grandfathered into some kind of a protection from having to make necessary repairs, I guess. I don't know. And now with the new owner, they had to do inspections and stuff like that. And like there were things that were undone that they uh, it was illegal if they didn't fix them. So the new owners have been fixing our apartments and uh, we've got uh, let's see, our circuit breaker was replaced. It's 
because I guess it was an electrical hazard before. <laughs> so we got a new circuit breaker. Our AC took a shit. So we've had a new air conditioner put in place. Uh, and it it's just been going. The, the guy that fixed the uh, circuit breaker, for example, he uh, put everything back together, but left the wall kind of like still messed up. So we had to get the maintenance guys in and out of here to get sheetrock to repair that. So, um, yeah, our, our house has been, it's definitely been a little bit disrupted for the past few months. We've not been able to keep to a solid, steady routine. And I'm trying to get to a point where I can just, like, get back to streaming. Um, there have been other things, too, like my chair, you notice, was probably different. Uh, my hair, like, I, I'm insecure sometimes about my hair. Like, I don't even want to go outside sometimes because my hair looks all fucked up. I've been disassociating lately, <laughs> but I've been like reading and studying and doing my normal back to basics type stuff, trying to get my routine back, trying to get my diet back. But during that time, the past couple of months, I've just been kind of letting myself go a little bit, just letting myself just like enjoy and like celebrate life for a little while. So I've been taking time for myself, I guess. And like giving myself a break from uh, my stressful routines and uh, I have this like, it's it's like, I, I'm sure I probably don't have to tell you guys uh, if you've seen the channel at all. I'm a bit of a people pleaser, recovering people pleaser, and uh, I'm also, I don't know, working on boundaries and stuff like that with people, and it's really messy. Like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I feel like I'm pissing people off and I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is my bare minimum? What do I need? And in order to be happy, in order to want to, like, you know, do difficult things whenever I have to without having to shut down or disassociate or something. And, uh, and I'm also just kind of tired of that stuff as well. Like, I'm tired of all the the it's it, there's it's been it's just like a narrative of spiritual growth and uh like progressive like development and entrepreneur mindset and being successful and it's like i'm getting kind of sick of all that stuff so i'm i'm starting to get back to just like you know what i'm just gonna do me and what what get connected to what i actually feel like doing what i want to do and i'm gonna see where that takes me i'm gonna and a lot of the times too like i'm hearing messages i'm like picking up messages on on my radar it, there's like a subconscious kind of subliminal conversation going on uh with all the media that i consume and stuff like that and you can see it there like if you watch the news for example like you can see there's like a narrative and you can hear like counter narratives if you watch the other news and there's like uh, criticism of those narratives if you watch the other other news um, but all, all this conversation and all of the things that people are focusing on I feel like are right here and what I care about is like over here so I'm looking over here right now I'm just gonna focus on what I care about what I think is important Good to like see you again, obviously Grand still Master. trying to keep up with like the times a little bit I want to still be connected to what's going on so I'm not like protecting myself from all and every news source, but every time I do hear something about the news, it's like almost like with visiting family. If, if every time you go visit your family member, it's like some negative experience and everyone leaves the experience feeling drained and down. Like how many more times are you gonna do that before you stop? So the same thing with the news. If every time I listen to the news it's some negative subject or judging me or making me feel down afterwards, I'm not gonna listen to that stuff anymore and then also like even if you're working on yourself if you're listening to, to things that help you with self-improvement like every video is titled this is why you're stuck <laughs> if you feel stuck click here it's like just by acknowledging the fact that you're stuck like you need the class if you think you need a teacher then yeah you need a teacher or if you think you need a spiritual master or uh like you know group or community to belong to or anything like that then yeah you do because that's what you believe so that's what i've been trying to get to the root and core of what do i actually believe and what do i actually need and does that involve other people or other things 
And yes, I think I d it does. At a certain point, it does. But uh, only after I can stand on my own two feet and not have to rely on somebody for things that I can easily provide myself. Like, I want to at least do... It's like I, I do in WoW. I get into this, like, preparation mode where I've, like, decided I'm going to raid now. And whenever I do that, I get into this, like, well, I could actually go and get some more gear. Or I can actually go do this and get some more gear. And I don't ever actually, like, get to a point to where I begin playing the game. So you could do that in, in real life with videos about growth and development and spirituality and all this stuff as well. You can end up in this perpetual preparation and never actually get to play in the game. And I kind of simulated this once too. I was like, I was playing The Sims, The Sims 4, and I had it on my, my Steam's wish list, and I was trying to play something other than WoW. And I think at the time, uh, oh, we had no electricity, so the internet was out. And I was trying to prepare, uh, uh how, how was that? Like, I forget why the internet was down. Because we had no internet for a little while. I think it was before they switched out the circuit breaker panel, we had complained that our router was going down and the lights would dim and stuff and flicker. So, like, it could have been one of those... I actually thought we had blown a fuse in the fuse box, and that was why we got them down here to begin with. But regardless, like, whenever we didn't have internet one of these days, I was sitting there playing The Sims, because it doesn't require an internet connection. And... I did this little, I, I started a guy, right? His name was Elude Stalwart. And he was a streamer. Like, I, I was surprised it was, I think the career field was tech guru. So I did a tech guru Elude Stalwart. I'll show you guys, I'll do a video and uh, show you what I'm talking about. And you know what, maybe I can do it right now. I can show you who it is. Cause the magic of videos and editing. Here, watch this, I'll show you. Oh, hey, before we get to that. uh. I've been kind of uh, creative lately too. So part of what I've been doing is art. So I did this, I thought this was cool. Like I kind of missed the sun. There was like a few days, like I, I've been disassociating and staying inside, right? So uh, I go on walks, but early in the morning before the sun's fully up, maybe I missed the sun, like, I don't know. But I made this, I made this sun. And these are just like gradients on Photoshop and with filters and uh, effects. But I thought this was pretty, Pretty beautiful. I like that. That was uh, pretty good. And then I also got some other stuff here. I don't want to show it all to you, but I'm going to show you one other thing. I was trying to figure out, like, maybe I want to come back and, and rebrand. Maybe I want a different brand. So I was thinking, Elude Stalwart. It's kind of gray compared to the other one, though, right? This is brighter. No? I think maybe it's the blue making it seem more gray. To me, that looks a little grayed out. Maybe I need to do something with the effects though. Maybe brighten this up a little bit. But yeah, I, I had hand done these. So this is elude, like, cause I wanted something that was specific to me, like to my brand or name or channel or something. And uh, I was kind of trying to think of a, a way to do like a neat little intro or something or have a new logo or something. I don't know. It's like 2022 elude stalwart kind of like thing. Uh, let's get into The Sims 4, though. I was going to show you guys that. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll be right back whenever. You, for y'all, it's going to be no time. But for me, like, uh, I always hate whenever I watch a video and they're like, all right, guys, and we'll be right back with that. And for them, like, it is. Like, time is passing. So they stop the video and they probably go take a shit or get lunch or something like that and have a coffee, come back, and then uh, begin recording. But for us, like, watching the video back later is like, there's no passage of time. It's like, why does he say that whenever he's just like, you know, it's still right. So, but I was doing the same thing. I think part of it is like when you have a camera on and you know, like you're watching it back or even someone else, some other person may be watching it back. Uh, you kind of feel that, that bandwidth It's like the cognitive load of, of realizing that kind of makes you feel more artificial or staged in a way you say weird shit you normally wouldn't say. I'm trying to get through that. I'm trying to get past that. I want to get to a point to where I'm just like familiar enough to turn it on and talk to you like I talk to my son or talk to my wife or anything like that. 